Thank you. Now, with this late winter storm, wind fueled waves have come crashing on the Lake Erie shoreline, and that is only accelerating something we've already been talking about the erosion that continues to get worse by the day. One of the hardest hit areas is the tourism town of Geneva on the lake. And that's where we find News 5's Jordan Vandenberg, who joins us now live with more. You know, this part of Northeast Ohio doesn't appear to have gotten as much snow as some other communities, but it is making up for it in the wind and the waves. You could probably hear the waves of Lake Erie behind me, but the erosion is what we're talking about right now. You can see that this walkway at this beloved park right in the heart of Geneva on the lake is about to fall in. It looks like it's one bad wave or one bad storm away from falling in. And officials hope to save this park, but with each passing day, it is getting harder to do. At Geneva Township Park, alone in his car, alongside his trusty co-pilot, Jim Hevner. Oh, I come down to walk, walk my dog and just to see how bad it's getting. Watches Ohio's borders. Check it out every day. Change in real time. Well, it's kind of sad. I can remember as a kid going down there and went, not really as that long ago either, young. You could go right down there on the beach, fish, do whatever. It's all gone now. The wind whipped waves eat away at Geneva Township Park like a game of Pac-Man. I've wa literally watched chunks of dirt fall. Before and after photos show the daily damage, so much so that earlier this month, the village declared an erosion emergency. On this end, a good 75 feet, and it's all been since January. On the ballot in March is a levy to save the park, which would add $42 to the tax bill on a $100,000 house. State lawmakers are also considering emergency funding to help cities repair critical infrastructure impacted by erosion. I work for an excavating company and they they inquired they had us here looking at it before, but it wasn't it was nowhere near this bad. But they didn't have the money then. Around here, the landscape changes daily, and Hevner hopes he will still have a park to come to. We can't fight Mother Nature. That's just the way it is. And if passed, the levy would span a total of five years in that legislation that would bring some emergency funding for vital infrastructure in Lakeshore communities has been assigned to a committee. Live along Lake Erie, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.